What is up guys? It is Celine Chica back with another unsolicited opinion. Today I'm going to be talking about three things Congolese people should leave in 2019. Stay tuned. Number one, uninspired DMs. Every form of social media has a whole bunch of message requests from random Congolese men saying bonjour, bonsoir, salut, with nothing else. What the hell am I supposed to do with that? What do you want from me? Can I help you with something? Please cut to the chase. This isn't 2008 MSN Messenger. This isn't Mixit. Helping into the DMs with just hello. Bonjour, salut. Like, I'm lying around here with no personal goals. I have nothing to do. Tell me why you are here in the DMs. Do you have a project that you're working on that you want to share? Are you interested in my work? Are you interested in me? Tell me. But don't sit here and be like, bonjour, bonsoir. And when I say bonjour, bonsoir, I mean BSR, BJR, SLT. How are you gonna make time for this relationship if you can't even spell two out of five letters in a word? Be better at the DMs, please, guys. Number two, chain messages. Guys, I believe the children are the future. I believe that us millennials can stop the WhatsApp chain messages that are going through all Congolese parents everywhere. Please, we can do this, guys. 2020 is the year that we put a stop to this. We need to find the source, guys. Is it one person? Is it a couple? Is it some sort of cult whose mission it is to scandalize and traumatize all our parents? You see, now I'm speaking in English. For what reason? We can put a stop to this. But the first step is to not engage. Every time they say share with 15 people or else la, 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 la. do not share with 15 people. Those 15 people do not need that message. We don't need them. Do you understand? And finally, number three, unsolicited pan-Africanist lectures. I cannot tell you how many times some random ass guy, it's always a delivery guy or an Uber driver. It's always a guy discovers that I'm Congolese like he is and decides that he needs to tell me about my culture I mean, all the ways in which I am failing as a Congolese person because I don't speak the specific language that he speaks so one time I was getting my Nando's delivered I come out and the delivery guy is like looking at me funny and I'm like okay he's like yeah where are you from I hate this question it's so freaking annoying you look like you're Congolese I know that there's something about my face that is a dead giveaway that I'm Congolese I can't identify what it is anyway so I'm like I'm South African because I just want to get my chicken and go. Oh, are you sure? Wow, am I sure? You just, you look Congolese, I'm Congolese. So he's taking forever, guys. I still don't have my Nando's chicken. So eventually I'm like, yeah, sure, I'm Congolese. And he's like, oh, okay. So do you speak the languages, you know, because a lot of times people forget where they come from. Nigga, give me my damn chicken. Please just give me my damn chicken. You are not the pan-Africanist messiah, making sure that we're not losing our culture. Like, thank you, it's very noble of you, but please just give me my damn chicken. This nigga really had the audacity to be like, yeah, but do you speak Swahili? Nigga, that is not my tribe. What about your grandparents? Do you communicate with them? Do you speak their languages? And you do not need to know anything about my life. And this is not to say that I don't like meeting other Congolese people. That's absolutely not what I'm saying at all. I love it. I love Congolese people as a concept. I especially love meeting Congolese creatives and talking about our projects and talking about what we're doing. There's a difference between wanting to find out information about me and like wanting to connect and all that stuff and then wanting to find out this information so that you can now lecture me about how I'm not Congolese enough. We don't need to do this, guys. You can be friendly, we can have chats, whatever, but like don't sit here and tell me what to do and tell me how to be and tell me what to speak. Nope, not doing that in 2020, guys. If it is your job to deliver someone chicken, deliver their chicken. Give them the chicken. Do not hold it hostage to force them into some conversation. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for sticking around and listening to my unsolicited opinions. <laughs> I really appreciate it. If you haven't already, please check out my show, Jess Goes West. It's a web series on the YouTubes. I will link it in the description below. That would be cool. And follow me on the Instagram, at Celine Chica, at T-S-H. You know, like the president, just like Katie. All right, guys. Happy 2020, guys. Happy New Year to you. And let's be better. I believe in us. Yes. <laughs> Bye, guys.